What is going on guys? Trent is back with another video. Today we're going to talk about the 2022 Sugar Bowl. Ole Miss versus Baylor. Number 7 versus number 8. Should be a pretty good matchup. Let's talk about it. So Waco, Texas to New Orleans is just under 8 hours. Oxford, Mississippi to New Orleans just over 5 hours. Now you also have to remember as well, there's a bunch of Ole Miss fans down in the southern part of Mississippi as well. Uh, down in Jackson, Pearl, Ridgeland, Madison, Hattiesburg bunch of Ole Miss fans down in the southern part of Mississippi. So for some fans, won't be too far of a drive. This will be kind of a home field advantage for Ole Miss in this matchup. So since Baylor is kind of considered more the away team, we'll talk about Baylor first. So Baylor is number seven in the country, coached by David Randa. They are 11-2 and two in the season. Their wins are from Texas State, Texas Southern, Kansas, Iowa State, West Virginia, BYU, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas State, Texas Tech, and Oklahoma State yesterday in the Bid 12 Championship. Their two losses are from Oklahoma State back in the regular season, and they also got beat by TCU as well. So 11 wins, two losses, that's a pretty good record. So Baylor is averaging 32.5 points per game, 2,803 passing yards, uh, 23 passing touchdowns. They have 531 rushing attempts for 2,791 yards, 28 rushing touchdowns on the season. So now talking about Baylor's best players. Now, Baylor could be without their starting quarterback in this matchup, uh, which is Gary Bohanna. Now, I know he's, got, I know he's missed, I want to say, two games, if not more. Uh, if there's any Baylor fans watching this video, please let me know. But another starting quarterback has missed a couple games this year. Uh, not too sure if he's out the rest of the season. Could be back for this matchup. Not too sure. But their starter for most of the season is number 11, Gary Bohanna. He has thrown for 2,160 yards on the season. 64.3 completion percentage. 17 passing touchdowns. 6 interceptions. Now their backup quarterback who could possibly start in this matchup. Uh, once again, not too sure who will be starting in this matchup. Not too sure if their starting quarterback will be back. But their backup for most of the season has been number 12, Blake Shapin. Um, five touchdowns on the season. 72.1 completion percentage. And their backup really hasn't played too much this year, so don't really know too much about them. Uh, but their starting quarterback, he's pretty good. Um, so now Baylor is kind of like just like Ole Miss. Both teams like run the ball. You will see a bunch of running in this matchup for sure. I can promise you and guarantee you that for sure. So Baylor's starting running back is number seven. Abram Smith has 232 carries for 1,429 yards, 12 touchdowns on the season. Their next running back is number one, Tristan Etner, 142 carries, 763 yards, Two touchdowns on the season. Baylor's best receiver is number nine, Tarquan Thornton. 61 catches, 946 yards, nine touchdowns on the season. So now, Baylor's best defensive players. Their first guy I'm going to talk about today is number two, linebacker Terrell Bernard. 86 tackles, five and a half sacks on the season. Net is number five, linebacker as well, Dylan Dowie. 82 tackles, one sack, one interception. Net is number eight, safety, Jalen Pickery. 70 tackles, two and a half sacks, two interceptions on the season. So now talking about the Ole Miss Rebels. Ole Miss number eight in the country, 10 and two on the season, coached by Lane Kiffin. Ole Miss has wins over Louisville, Austin P, Tulane, Arkansas, Tennessee, LSU, Liberty, Texas A&M, Vanderbilt, and Mississippi State. Two losses are from Alabama and Auburn. So Ole Miss is averaging 35.9 points per game. So Baylor averaging 32.5. Ole Miss, you might as well say 36. So about three, four points of a difference. Uh, passing yards, Ole Miss has 3,389 passing yards on the season, 20 passing touchdowns. So compared to Baylor, um, let's see, Baylor has 2,803 passing yards, 23 touchdowns. So Ole Miss has about 500 more uh, passing yards on the season, but Baylor does have three more passing touchdowns than Ole Miss. 
Ole Miss has 534 rushing attempts for 2,691 yards, 33 rushing touchdowns. So compared to Baylor, um, Ole Miss has three more rushing attempts than Baylor does. Uh, rushing yards, Baylor has exactly 100 more rushing yards than Ole Miss. And Baylor has 28 rushing touchdowns. Ole Miss has 33 rushing touchdowns. So Ole Miss just has five more rushing touchdowns compared to Baylor. Now talking about some of Ole Miss's best players. When you think of Ole Miss, first guy you think of, starting quarterback, number two, Matt Corral. Corral has thrown for 3,339 yards on the season, 68.4 completion percentage, 20 passing touchdowns, four interceptions, and Corral also pretty dangerous on the speed as well. 145 carries for 597 yards, 11 rushing touchdowns on the season. And now, just like a Baylor, Ole Miss loves to run the ball as well. Our starting running back, number nine, Jerron Ely, 121 carries, 703 yards, five touchdowns on the season. Next running back, number 24, Snoop Connor, 119 carries. 605 yards, 13 touchdowns on the season. Now, Snip Connor is kind of more of a bit of physical running back. Anytime it's first and goal, almost inside the five, Snoop is the man. Snoop will come in. He's big. He's physical. He's going to score a touchdown. If it's first and goal, second, you know, second goal, anytime Ole Miss is about to score from pretty close to end zone, Snoop will come in and uh, score a touchdown for Ole Miss. So next running back is Henry Parrish Jr., 101 carries on the season, 542 yards, three touchdowns on the season. Ole Miss's best receiver, Don Terrio Drummond, 67 catches, 924 yards, eight touchdowns on the season. So now talking about Ole Miss's best defensive players, when you think of the Ole Miss defense, first guy you think of is number 44, Linebacker Chance Campbell, 99 tackles, six and a half sats on the season. Nets linebacker is number 35, Mark Robinson, 87 tackles, three sats on the season. Nets is number 21, defensive back A.J. Finley, 87 tackles, three interceptions on the season. Nets is defensive back number three, Otis Reese, 86 tackles, one and a half sats on the season. And this last guy don't have as many tackles as the other as these other guys do, but this dude is a freaking sack machine. That is number seven defensive lineman Sam Williams. Now Sam Williams only has 56 tackles on the season, but the dude has 12 and a half sacks on the season. Sam Williams, a freaking sack machine. So now a score prediction, uh, kind of my thoughts and opinions on this matchup. I kind of feel like this is going to be a pretty good game. Uh, pretty even, I believe. Um, definitely not expecting a blowout. Now, I believe this will be a, uh, a run attack game for both teams. Both teams, uh, their biggest weakness on defense is a defensive line. That's definitely Ole Miss's biggest problem on defense is defensive line. And kind of the same on Baylor. Baylor's biggest weakness on defense is a defensive line. Both teams have very good running backs. I'm expecting both teams to do a bunch of running in this matchup for sure. So now score prediction on this matchup. Um, you know, once again, uh, this will be kind of a closer drive for Ole Miss fans. I believe the home field advantage will definitely help for sure. And also another interesting fact many people may not know but uh, Ole Miss has won six of the seven last games in the Sugar Bowl. Ole Miss has a pretty good win percentage in bowl games. We don't lose often. But uh, definitely the Sugar Bowl. The Sugar Bowl is just not a game Ole Miss loses often. We played Oklahoma State back in 2016 in the Sugar Bowl. Beat Oklahoma State back then. I'm expecting another Ole Miss win in this matchup. So I'm going with Ole Miss 32, Baylor 28. I do have Ole Miss winning this one by four points. I really do believe this will be a very good game, very close game, and I believe Ole Miss will pull it out at the end. 
So um, if you guys have any questions, thoughts, opinions on this matchup, we'll hear y'all's feedback on this. But uh, that is all I have for the video. So please leave a like. Please feel free to comment. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Hotty toddy.